Hey guys, Gabe here from Our Simple Story, and in this quick video, I'm going to give you an unboxing, review, and installation guide for this Yonhan 4-way flat truck to 7-way blade trailer light adapter kit. Now, this is going to bring you from a 4-way flat uh, lighting system to a 7-blade uh, trailer system that is used on most RVs or camper trailers or some utility trailers. So I'm going to give you kind of a quick unboxing here and show you the different parts and then talk you through how I installed mine. It can't get much simpler, but I want to give you some pointers real quick. Now, this light kit has its limitations. So this is not going to power either your brakes or any 12 volt systems you have on your trailer. So if you have a camper trailer, for instance, and you're hoping to keep your in-house batteries charged over this connector, this is not the connector for you. But if you're looking for a quick way to go from a four way to a seven blade lighting system and you just need something to power your running lights, your brake lights and your turn signals, this is a great system for you and a light kit for you. Now unfortunately the towing bar under my Toyota Sienna is round and I'm not able to install this mounting bracket on this round trailer hitch. So I was able to find a flat surface on the underside of the back bumper and I'm just going to go ahead and use some self tapping or some tech screws and mount this right in. So I'm not using the screws that they provided to me for mounting. I'm just going to go ahead and find my own screws for this because I'm having to change up the plan a little bit. You may have to do the same thing, but just be flexible and, um, and see what works best for you and your vehicle. Now I am driving a 2010 Toyota Sienna and I'm wanting to be able to pull my utility trailer with this um, 2010 Toyota Sienna. Once I get the mounting bracket in place on the underside of my bumper, I'm going to go ahead and put the four bolts in place that they are provided with this kit. And then I'm going to um, hand tighten the nuts onto the back of these bolts and then take my drill and kind of tighten them down nice and snug so they don't go anywhere. Now before you do all this, obviously it's good to go ahead and, and dry fit everything before you commit to screwing holes on the bottom of your bumper. Um, do like I did and just kind of dry fit everything. Make sure your cords are going to reach and they're going to match up okay. You've got it on the right side. Um, it's good to think those kinds of things through. But as you see, the little um, uh, door here is spring-loaded and the connectors just slide right together. It's a nice, good, snug fit. I want to make sure my wires are not dragging on the ground, so snake your wires back through if you have a little bit of excess. You can always tape them up or zip tie them up to something under your vehicle, but you just don't want those dragging on the ground. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and test it out here. You don't have to hook up the trailer and mount the trailer to the, the ball or anything like that to test this out. So, But as you see, this door locks the actual cord in place, which is nice. It's not going to pull itself out. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and walk around to the back of my trailer and make sure everything is functioning before I get out on the road. Um, I do blinkers, I do running lights, I do flashers. But yeah, this is a great solution for me and my vehicle. I hope it works for you. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. We keep videos short and to the point, and I hope this has been uh, insightful for you. If you don't mind, hit the thumbs up button. Maybe even subscribe if you like videos like this or want to watch out for our other adventures. But in the meantime, thanks for watching, and keep it real.